So my name is Kyle Shi. I'm 19. I grew up in Colorado. I'm currently a sophomore here at CU Boulder, majoring in electrical and computer engineering. My name is Eric Bogatin. I've been associated with CU for about 10 years now. I teach two classes. Uh, one is on printed circuit board design and the other one is the Capstone Senior Design Lab. During this school year, so just before this school year started, Professor Bogatin told me that there was an opportunity for a new project that I could potentially work on, which was the ENOS project. So the ENOS project is essentially creating an electric nose to sniff out different kinds of greenhouse gases. One of the problems with um, greenhouse gases is we have no sense of that unless we have measurement instruments. There is an incredible opportunity in the industry right now in uh, this low-cost electronics revolution. Uh, and I think the, the fusion, the combination of low-cost sensors, low-cost analog front ends, low-cost microcontrollers, and writing custom software can absolutely revolutionize the kind of things that people can do on a really uh, low-cost budget. Ideally, there are three types of designs that we're aiming for. One would potentially to be kind of like a sensor that's tethered to your computer, which you could carry at home. Another one would be a small kind of like pod that's wireless and you could leave it in a separate room or leave it in your garden outside and it would read data for you. And then the last one would be potentially to put the sensor on a drone. So the sensors today, um, well, I have one sensor today right now, so it's a carbon monoxide sensor. It's called the MQ7. It's about maybe like this big, so it's a pretty small sensor. So regarding industry usage of this product, I think that there's already a lot of commercialized versions of specific sensors, so to distinguish this project specifically, I think it's really key to make sure that with the low-cost components that we're using, that we can actually get precise measurements and accuracy that can rival current industry products. So I think it's hard for anybody that's in an engineering or science field to not be aware of climate change. It's hard to imagine that, you know, that the, the kind of activities that humans have can affect the global climate more than you know, volcanic emissions or forest fires. It's when you look at the numbers that it becomes really clear. I think regarding solving the issue of climate change as a whole, um, it's really important to take action now, so I don't think we can delay this any later. And I remember in the past sometime I read an article that if the temperature of the Earth raises any higher beyond a certain point, then climate change will be irreversible. So I think that it's especially critical now that we put action towards solving climate change and raising awareness around that. So. Uh, this opportunity with the DLA program at CU, this is the Discovery Learning Apprentice program that uh, helps to fund undergraduate research. This was a perfect example of opportunity. And if it wasn't for Scott's interest in, in funding a program and increasing awareness, uh, we wouldn't be pursuing this project now at this time. Thanks to Mission Zero, I've received funding to be able to work on this project. And I think that with Mission Zero specifically, this project that I'm working on has really taken a direction towards tackling this problem of climate change.